to become a Canadian citizen in September. Another heavyweight news, Vitaly Klitschko. 26 wins, all 26 by knockout. He knocked out Herbie Hyde to win the WBO title. Watch for him. Six foot seven, 250 pounds. And right now we see Trevor Burbick inside the ring wearing the Quebec and Canadian colors. The next bout, an eight round fight in the heavyweight division. Dans le coin bleu, in the blue corner, portant la culotte rouge et pesant 234 livres, wearing the red trunks and weighing 234 pounds, une fiche de 43 victoires, dont 27 knockouts, 17 défaites et un nul, a record of 43 wins, 27 by knockdowns, and 17 losses in a draw. Ancien champion du monde à trois reprises. Three times world champion. Du Bronx à New York. Iron the Blade. Barkley. Barkley. Dans le coin rouge, in the red corner, portant la culotte blanche aux couleurs du Québec et du Canada, et pesant 254 livres, wearing the white Québec and Canada colors, and weighing 254 pounds, avec une fiche de 47 victoires, dont 33 knockouts, 10 défaites et une nulle, with a record of 47 wins, 33 knockouts, 10 losses and one draw. Champion Canadian et ancien champion du monde, Canadian champion and former world champion de Montréal, Québec, Trevor Burbick. <laughs> L'arbitre du combat, M. Jerry Bolin, les juges, M. Jean Lapointe, Sylvain Leblanc et Emilien Nadeau. Bring my commands at all time. Touch up. Good luck. Heavy hitting in this one. One anticipates. A bit of clowning around, but some seriousness as well. A whole lot of experience inside that ring. As Ryan Barkley set to go up against Canadian heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick, and this fight is underway. It is our pleasure to be bringing it to you, Dino Sisto, alongside the current NABF cruiserweight champion, Dale Brown. I think we're going to slow down on the speed a little bit here, Dino, but maybe a little bit heavier punching by these two. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of punching here in this opening round, just a matter of trying to figure out each uh, other. This is going to be a feeling out round for sure. Burbick may not be the fastest fighter around. He may not be the youngest fighter around. He throws some devastating bombs, but his biggest asset, and I don't know if asset is the right word, he takes a whole lot of punishment. He takes a very good shot at that, and that is an asset. You gotta be able to take a punch as a fighter, no question. But another big asset of uh, Trevor Burbick is his experience. He's been in there with some big names, and he's oh. had some good fights. And his heart, that's a big asset as well. And it's those short punches that hurt the most from Burbick. Like that one. They're chopping punches, like a George Foreman. That's they're, right. They're, he's very heavy-handed. He's not quick, they're not like that, but he's a very heavy-handed puncher. You see, Rand Barkley uses a lot more of his body when he's throwing a shot, while Trevor Burbick is almost standing still when he unleashes his punishment. He's almost slapping you with it, yeah. but it, it's a punch, but it, 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 it can be very definite. That was a good shot by Rand Barkley over the top. Like you said about taking a shot, it did not even move Trevor right. Burbick. He walked right through it, came back through a one-two of his own. He's a tree truck. Though I think Burbick is in better shape this time around than he was when he faced 
Shane Sutcliffe. I think so too. He's showing some aggression here, you know. Uh, Iren Barkley came on early and he's just walking down, walking down, taking his time, but throwing some punches. Oh, what a shot. A left shot by Burbick. We heard it here ringside. And you see Barkley now a little less tentative, a little more tentative, I should say, as he backs up and Burbick moving towards Barkley in the first 40 seconds of this round. The reverse was true, where Barkley was chasing Burbick around. I think that uh, Iran Barkley has felt a little bit of uh, Trevor Burbick's power right now. He's not too excited about jumping on it. And Burbick taking his opponent tonight, Rand Barkley, a little more seriously than Shane Seiklip. No clowning around in this first round. None of those weird antics that we saw the last time around when Burbick won his Canadian Championship belt. Just business and serious business at that. A good right here. way, Trevor, this way. Uh, there's a little bit of the antics that we were missing in that first round, Dino. Fans liked it as we visit with Iran Barkley. As we see Alain Bonamy inside the dressing room. That's our next fight, and tonight's final. Edward Allen Hall is Bonamy's opponent. At least will be. Rand Barkley has been campaigning as a heavyweight since 1993 with mixed results. His win over former WBA World Heavyweight Champion Jerry Coetzee in 1997 rekindled his hopes of earning some more of the substantial purses of old. A win over a still highly dangerous Trevor Burbick would go a long way towards reaching that goal. We mentioned earlier uh, that these fighters are only fighting for $5,000 each, but the winner most likely will go up against George Foreman for big money. And maybe that's why we're seeing such seriousness on both sides. I think that's a great point, you know, especially from Trevor Burbick. He knows what's at stake in this fight, and he's not about to uh, let that jeopardize because Obviously, he's fighting to get paid, and George Foreman is his payday right now. Good left hand by Burbick, and right now, Iran Barkley a lot more defensive than he was in the opening round. Trying to fight back. There's that clubbing right hand, but he gets caught with the left hand. Oh, just some big punches being exchanged right here along the ropes. First by Barkley, then by Burbick, and Burbick unleashing some more punishment. Good body shot there on the part of Barkley. Left hand to the ribs. And there's that slapping motion on the part of Burbick, and that hurts Barkley. That clubbing right hand, he puts wow. some of that weight behind it, and it's just a clubbing right hand, but you can see the effects that it has. Folks, that was happening directly above us, and we felt every punch, maybe not as much as uh, the fighters in the ring, but that was something to see firsthand. You can just hear them from us. We're, we're like two feet away from these ropes. And wow. It's a thudding punch. Trevor Burbick, of course, one time inside the ring with Muhammad Ali, but the late stages of Muhammad Ali's career, and Burbick was not a proud man that night. He didn't like that what he had to do to Muhammad Ali. No, that's tough on any fighter. Yeah. And like we saw tonight, uh, the time to stop a fight when it's time. Good uppercut on the part of Burbick there. He's connecting at will, I should say. Very good uppercut. And then he spun off to the side in case the counter was coming. He was going to protect himself. There's a counter on the part of Barkley. Caught Burbick with a left hand. But you never really know if Trevor Burbick is in trouble or not. Another left hand. So he decides to get the right hand up after he gets caught with the second one. You can see him put his hand up. He's like, okay, I got caught with two. I'm not going to get caught with the third one. It was interesting with the Shane Sutcliffe fight. The night Burbick won the championship. It was almost like Sutcliffe was getting more tired as the fight moved along because he was throwing so many punches. And 
didn't seem to affect Burbick at all. And he was catching a lot of Burbick's arms and uh, shoulders and stuff. Because he's got such big arms. He's a big man, so a lot of his arms get in the way of the punches. Referee has to step in and direct Trevor oh. Burbick into the right corner. Round two is into the books, and Guy Jutra has joined us ringside. Guy. Yes, Dino, the first round, I had given it to uh, Barkley very barely, but just uh, enough, like he did enough damage to get it on my particular scorecard. But the second round, uh, Burbick came back, and uh, I, in my, on my card, he came back and uh, got a 10-9. So I'm up, up to now, I'm on the, I've got a draw, up to now. So some pretty big shots being exchanged in this well, fight. Well, it re it's reminiscent of the uh, Sh Sutcliffe fight, uh, you know, in a sense that uh, he started, uh, Bur Bur uh, Burbick started uh, slowly, but he, he sort of accelerated, and we get the feeling now that this is where he's at right now. Less fooling around on the part of Trevor Burbick, more business-oriented tonight. As we see Alain Bonamy, thank you very much, Guy Jutra. Back to you, Dino. Our ringside, Judge Guy Jutra. Round three is underway between Iran Barkley and Trevor Burbick. Nice sneaky right hand by Aaron Barkley there. He threw the jab and then came in with the right hand. But again, Burbick just walks through these right hands like they're nothing. Rand Barkley has lost three of his last four fights, so he really does need the win here tonight against Trevor Burbick. If he's going to get the win here tonight, he's got to throw more than just one punch as we're having Burbick against the rope. He's got to work down to that body and then work his way back up, back up to the head. Burbick. Moves in, short left hand. Good left hand there on the part of Barkley and a solid one at that and another one as Barkley follows up. But again, it's one, he's catch one, two, one, two here and there. You are not gonna stop a big man like Trevor Burbick with one or two punches. fastest fight of the night, that's for sure. Last punch wins. But you can see the uh, the experience in these two fighters. They're picking their shots, they're looking, they're studying. Uh, as we go, Burbick's like, okay, I'm gonna throw the jab, I'm gonna throw the jab. And then the right hand's gonna come, and, and then he's gonna block with his hands. Nevertheless, Burbick is, has been hit with some shots in this fight. He was hit in the Shane Sutcliffe fight with some shots. We didn't see a cut that night, and we haven't seen a cut here tonight, which surprises me as we start hearing some boos in the background. Now these, these fans want to see them start mixing it up. I think it's not a, a bad fight right now. They're both big guys are trying to uh, catch other some big shots. But like you said, the, in this Shane Sutcliffe fight, he was hit and he was hit quite often the first three rounds. But he's just a really big, strong guy. Fans had a chance to see Fatih Moussaoui and Hercules Cavellos back to back. So obviously this is a bit of a change of pace for the fight fans here at the Molson Center as a lot slower to fight. More powerful punches being exchanged. Right there, a left hand by Burbick. He follows up with another left hand, but Barkley covers up. And Barkley has had a better third round here, maybe his best round of the fight so far. Yeah, he's caught uh, Burbick with some good left hooks, some good overhand rights. But he's keeping his hands up nice and smart on the inside. Tried for a home run there with the right hand. But again, he's got to come back with the left hook. Even if they're not the quickest, they still got to throw three, four punches in a combination. Again, a bonus here. Again. And left hand by Burbick. We saw Barkley's head snap back. Barkley wanted to come in and do something. Burbick said, I don't think so. Smacks him with the left hand. First time in this fight, Trevor Burbick heads to the right corner. as he did with Shane Sutcliffe, refuses to sit down. Ever do that? Ever refuse to sit down? You know, a lot of people say, oh, you sit down, your legs get tired, so you're gonna lift yourself back up. I've never tried it myself. Uh, I think I prefer to sit down, get on eye level with my trainer, make sure I understand what he's saying, and, and fully understand it before I go to the next round. Moran Barkley is sitting down.
But I suppose when you're in a fight of this caliber and fights that you've been in, with all the punishment and the work and the sweat, it doesn't seem much of a difference to sit down or stand up at that point. Whatever the fighter wants to do, he does. <laughs> He's in charge in there. Round four is underway, and after this round, Guy Jutra will join us live, and he'll update us. Remember, after two rounds, Jutra had this fight even. Who did you give the third round to, Dale? You know, I think I gave it to Barkley. He caught him with some good, decent punches, and uh, not, bad, not much of a return by uh, Burbick that round. And right there, oh, Burbick's now punishing Barkley at the center of the ring. Barkley comes back with a right. Burbick retaliates with a right of his own. And right now we're seeing some heavy punching in this fight. Oh my. Good right hand. Oh, on the nice Burbick. right hand right there. Straight down the middle. Not a clubbing punch, but it was a nice, straight, powerful right hand. Again, that was more of a glancing blow, but there was an opening there. Burbick just missed. I like the way he's throwing that right hand more than I do the clubbing punch. It still hurts, but this is a knockout punch, the straight right hand that he's throwing. And then Barkley comes right back, first with a left, then a right over the top, both of them. How long can these men continue this way? How many rounds is the fight tonight, Dino? I think they continue for eight rounds tonight. Eight rounds. This is round four, and they have teed up since the opening bell and really have not slowed down all that much. There have been moments in this fight where there have been there has been a lull or two but nevertheless consistently they've thrown bombs. They don't have the blazing speed of a Cavellos or a Misawi but uh, still a very exciting fight. And it doesn't seem to matter which one is up against the ropes. It's just a matter of unleashing punches and made the stronger man win. And the man with the best chin. That might be what it comes down to tonight, Dan. Herbert got hit with a good left hand. And then Barkley came back with a left hand of his own. Burbick went down to the body, dropped his right hand. Mark said, okay, I'll hit you with the left hook. All this for the privilege of going up against George Foreman. As that senior boxing league, quote unquote, is starting to take shape with the likes of Foreman and Larry Holmes. They got a senior tour in golf, why not boxing? <laughs> Up against the ropes. In the corner, the tail end of this round. Wild miss by Burbick. And again, Burbick refuses to sit. In fact, they haven't even brought out a stool. We are joined by Guy Jutra, our ringside judge, as we head towards round number five. After two rounds, Guy, you had the fight even. How well, do you see it now? Yeah, well, as uh, last two rounds, I give him to Burbick. Uh, it seems like uh, the uh, the pattern that we saw with Shane uh, is repeating itself right now. Burbick seems to be picking up some speed and uh, won that last round more decisively than the one before. So it seems like the tide is turning and is going in the direction of uh, Burbick. Back to you, Dino. Thank you very much, Guy Jutra. As we take a look inside the corner of Rand Barkley, and now Trevor Burbick. Let's go. Referee says, let's go. Bell rings, Barkley's still sitting, and finally he gets up. And round five is underway here. As Barkley is in the red trunks with white trim, Burbick in the white trunks with black trim and very evident Quebec and Canadian flags. Oh. Short punches there on the part of Barkley. Yeah, some good punches there, but uh, you saw Burbick come out of the corner. He comes with a little hop, skip, and jump. I thought he was going to come out and start firing away, but uh, I, I think we're going to see Burbick try to open up a little bit more of this round, you know. Those punches hurt. There's no doubt about them, but neither fighter has really shown that they do. They hurt. 
you can tell, ringside here. No, you really haven't seen anybody show that they were hurt, they were staggered or anything like that, because Trevor Burbick will just walk through punches. Good right hand by Burbick again. punched by Trevor Burbick on the ropes, those ropes and that's going to hurt Iran Barkley. Again, Burbick backs up Barkley up against the ropes. Barkley leads with his head and Burbick takes advantage of that. Barkley a little less busy this round. Doesn't seem like he's firing as he was in the, the previous round. But uh, I, I think that goes down to those body shots. Burbick's gone down to the body with a few punches this round and that might have tired uh, Barkley out. All right, Burbick is completely different. We're going to put him aside just for a second. Duran Barkley is showing signs of fatigue at age 39 that he, one would normally show. Burbick at age 45, he should have been tired three rounds ago. Uh, that's another story. But again, I, I look at Burbick's midsection a lot better. He's better cut than he was against Shane Sutcliffe. He didn't show signs of fatigue that night, and he is showing absolutely no signs of fatigue here tonight against Aran Barkley. That all comes from experience. He knows how to control himself in the ring. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't go crazy throwing bombs when, uh, when he shouldn't be. He knows when to punch and when not to punch, Dino. I think Trevor Burbick can open up a little bit more here, and he might stop Iran. I, I, I see uh, Iran being a little bit weary, moving back to the ropes on his own. I think that's a good point, Darrell. We are seeing probably Iran Barkley's worst round of the fight right now. He is not active at all. Burbick is chasing him all over the ring. A uh, big uppercut from Trevor Burbick. He comes back with a left hook, another right hand, and I think that's all she wrote for Iran Barkley this evening. Yeah, Iran Barkley is having Tough time generating any sort of anything. No, that was probably Iran Barkley's worst round. He did not much offense in that round. Here's the replay against the ropes. Nice uppercut. That clubbing right hand again. I wish he'd throw it straight, just like that there. He wanted to throw the left hook, but Iran Barkley's a little bit far away. Iran tries a bit of uh, offense there, but uh, Trevor, Trevor Burbick's hands are always in the way. They're not getting in there clean. There's Iran Barkley's corner. Not much conversation going on in that corner. There's only so much you can tell a veteran of 39 years old. I think he pretty much understands the fight and what's going on. Just to put this fight into perspective, if a record normally turns at 33 and a third, this fight is going at about 26. I agree. Uh, like you said, they're, they're not blazing speed, but their punches are a lot harder. You still have those records? I think I got a few at home, Dino. Good left hand on the part of Burbick. As I think in this round, we may see Burbick start punishing Iran Barkley because Barkley showed very little in the last round. And again, Burbick connects with two right hands, left or right, and now connecting at will. Nice uppercut left hook. Though. I think that's what we've been waiting to see from Burbick. Put his punches together a little bit more. He throws three, four in a row, and he, uh, he might put uh, Barkley out. He tries to come back with a left hand, but a left of his own by Burbick greets Iran Barkley. Good left hand there by Burbick. Again, a right hand. Oh, a devastating right, right hand. hand. And Iran Barkley just shook it off. He did shake it off. It didn't even look like it affected him. Usually a right hand like that would at least buckle the knees. And right now, Trevor Burbick is backing up Rand Barkley. Backing him up and punishing him too right now, Dino. He's yeah. hitting with some big shots right now. 
Barkley's knees may not be showing the effects of those punches, but just his style. He is no longer taking the fight to Trevor Burbick. It is Trevor Burbick's fight. Trevor Burbick is imposing his style on Rand Barkley, and Barkley at times would like to come back and throw some punches. Does, but very few of them really land. I would like Trevor to get a little bit more busy here, throw a few more punches and say, okay, George Foreman, look what you got to look forward to. I'm not uh, as old as you may think I am, and I'm going to come in there and uh, give you a fight. In fact, I'm sure when George watches this fight, if he's watching it live, we say a big hello to him. One of my favorite all-time fighters. Good right hand on the part of Trevor Burbick. They're on the other side of the ring right now, Dino, and I heard that one loud and clear. Burbick. Two left hands, trying to set up that right hand. Good uppercut, good right hand. It is just devastating what Trevor Burbick is doing to Iran Barkley in this round right here. Barkley fighting back though, trying to swing that big right hand, trying to catch Burbick. again this time I should say turned the wrong way and headed to Trevor Burbick's corner. Burbick missed this corner twice early in the fight in the first two rounds but has successfully found it since but look at Iran Barkley. He's out of steam right now. He's barely holding on as Trevor Burbick is taking this fight to Iran Barkley and we are joined by Guy Jutra. Yeah, Dino, uh, again, I uh, awarded that last round to uh, Burbick, and uh, he reminds me an awful lot of uh, the George Foreman of the last few years. He just comes plodding in, uses his weight and his power, and uh, somehow or other, he seems to even have some speed left in him. So I would love to see him matched up against uh, big George Foreman, and I think he's working towards that goal. Well, I'll tell you what, George Foreman will probably be scouting this fight. He's probably listening to us live, if not on tape, a little later on, and I'm sure that will happen. But do you think, Guy, that Iran Barkley can hang on right now because it's all Burbick? I uh, don't think uh, he can uh, sustain that kind of punishment because uh, the punches are coming faster now. They're, they're more numerous. And I just don't think that this guy can uh, go on another, uh, what is it, uh, two rounds. So I, I would think that uh, Burbick is probably going to finish him off. Thank you very much, Back Guy you know. Shutra, our ringside judge. Now Burbick lands a right punch and ran Barkley up against the ropes. Can Burbick continue his assault? Good defense on the part of Burbick. He put up the left hand. Yeah, very good defense. Uh, Barkley tried to hit him with the right hand. He put up the left hand and blocked it perfectly. So good defense, powerful punching, great chin. My goodness. No wonder he's Canadian champion. Round seven of eight here. Body punch by Burbick. And Barkley missed with a wild left hand. Just short on that wild left hook. Uh, might put some impact if it got. And that's been the difference in this fight. The fact that Burbick's punches have landed, most of them, and Iran Barkley, as the fight has moved along, he's missed more and more. And there, there's a clear example. Yeah, he's missed more and more. They've glanced off and they've come just a bit short, where uh, Trevor Burbick's punches have just been like this. They've been uh, very heavy and, and damaging now in the last few rounds to Iran Barkley. This is quite a punishment to take if you're Iran Barkley for $5,000, but then again, the winner most likely will move on up against George Foreman. And big money. Yeah, so it was a fight to take, oh. the, the chance to take, but these punches that uh, Trevor Burbick is fighting are, are, are so hard that uh, they're just throwing Iran Barkley off balance. There's the weight difference, of course, but Burbick has been a heavyweight all of his life. Barkley, a middleweight. Until 1993 when he became a heavyweight. Two really nice straight right hands there by Trevor Burbick, but uh, Barkley shakes him off and walks right in. Barkley up against the ropes. Burbick moves in. 34 seconds to go in this round number seven. 
neither fighter has been down in this fight. And some big blows like that one. The left hand by Burbick at the top of the head. That hurts, folks. That hurts a lot. A little right hand there by Barkley as he tries to fight back and back up Trevor Burbick, but Burbick just pursues Barkley towards the center of the ring. Oh, one round to go. And another one under Burbick's hat. Still to come tonight's final between Alain Bonamy and Edward Allen Hall. Bonamy at 17, 8, and 3. Those 17 wins, 11 by knockout. Hall at 26, 15, and 2. Of those 26 wins, 14 by knockout. But this is Trevor Burbick and Iran Barkley as we head towards the eighth and final round in Montreal. There's Abe Pervin in the background as Alain Bonamy warms up for his final with Stéphane LaRouche. Talk about the encyclopedia of boxing and also knowing the ciphering fighters, that man Abe Pervin sitting down. He's seen it all though, hasn't wow. he, Dino? Incredible. The final round here in Montreal between these two legends is underway. Duran Barkley needs a knockout, and that was a knockout punch, but by Trevor Burbick, and I don't know how Barkley is still standing. I know, he's taking big shots. But again, that was sort of like a slapping, clubbing punch. If uh, Trevor Burbick would put a little bit of hip in that, a little bit of body into that, this fight would still not be on. Be interesting to see, there were some boos here in the third round, but interesting to see how this crowd reacts, about 4,000 strong here, at the end of this fight. Will they cheer? What will they do? I think, though, these guys will get quite an ovation. I think they will get an ovation because uh, these guys are two warriors, very experienced men coming here and fighting this hard in front of Montreal fans. They're going to be appreciated. Here comes Burbick, jogs towards Barkley. Burbick is in control of this fight on the scorecards. Barkley hanging on. See Let's a lot of swelling over that left eye yeah. of Iran Barkley now from those deafening uh, right hands of Burbick. It was swollen before the fight even began. <laughs> it's more swollen now. You can't even see his pupils right now, though. Midway through round eight, the final round. <laughs> Burbick has Barkley exactly where he wants him, along the ropes. And a good right hand there by Burbick. <laughs> a big right hand too. How do you recover from a fight like this? <laughs> Iran Barkley is a true warrior. He's taking a, a, a lot of big punches here, but just to show you the type of fighter he is, he gets hit, walks back, comes forward, and, and they're just trading. Sometimes in fighting there's a lot of useless jabs. Jabs meant to just keep away your opponent and 70% of these punches thrown have been bombs. All power punches. No. All power punches. Under 35 seconds to go in the eighth and final round, and this will be our third fight, barring a knockout, that will go to decision as Trevor Burbick punishes Iran Barkley in the corner with time running out, and Barkley comes back with a solid right hand. I think the big thing in this fight, Dino, is you just see the size difference. Again, Iran Barkley, a former middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight. He's definitely not a heavyweight, whereas Trevor Burbick, you, you made a point of, has always been a heavyweight. This fight between Trevor Burbick and Iran Barkley goes to decision. And Burbick feels he's won it, and so do we. I think he can be pretty confident. The judges for this fight between Trevor Burbick 
And of course, Rand Barkley, Jean Lapointe, Sylvain Leblanc, Emilien Nadeau. And we await their decision. Christian Tetro will be announcing the decision, but they are fairly confident in Trevor Burbick's corner. Burbick also was tagged with quite a few shots at no point, as he did against Shane Sutcliffe, did we get the impression that Burbick was in any sort of trouble. No. Trevor Burbick has definitely got a heavyweight chin. And he will definitely give George Foreman a battle as he may have given George Foreman a battle 20 years ago. Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, again, George Foreman isn't uh, isn't the blazing speedster. No. And uh, But he throws the same type of punch. A very clubbing and heavy-handed puncher as well, George Foreman is. That may be the most entertaining boxing news conference, pre-fight news conference, that anyone will ever attend. Both men can talk, that's for sure. Here's a special moment, folks. Burbick and Rand Barker. Legends. Two legends. They're going to sit down after this and they'll talk about it. They'll be good friends. And like you said, it goes down to sportsmanship. This is what they do for a living. That one looks stupid, punching. I mean, the guy, I think, was shy and he'd come back. And that's when they move on to the bigger thing, you know? Get your shit from Burbick. Relatively quiet throughout the whole fight, and now he's talking up a storm in the corner. He's just unleashing with the mouth. It's time to talk now. <laughs> it's true. You know, he spoke quite a bit to Cyclef. He, he did. Uh, Not tonight. But I think the difference was he knows Iran Barkley and the experience that Barkley has. He knew that Shane Cyclef didn't have that experience, so he was going to yap him up and take Shane out of his game. Good point. Inside the ring is our Charles Andre Marshall, who will be chatting with tonight's winner. And also in the ring, Christian Tetro with the announcement. Voici la décision. Here's the decision. The juge La Pointe marked 73 79. Judge La Pointe scores at 73 79. Le juge Le Blanc. Winner by unanimous decision, Trevor Burbick. Burbick. Burbick now 48, 10, and one of those 48 wins, 33 by knockout. Oran Barkley drops to 43, 18, and one. 27 of those wins by knockout. And it's just a matter of time now before that man, Trevor Burbick, the Canadian heavyweight champion, goes up against George Foreman.